What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe. Going to keep you guys up to date here every single step of the way, every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news on YouTube. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget social media links, they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries don't forget to leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below so we're going to crack on with this video we're going to start off with the out and we've got the very latest on Zhao Cancelo now the Athletic they have said that Manchester City's situation with Cancelo is exactly the same as last season he's not in Manchester City's plans they want a permanent move very few takers and so Man City as the window goes on may have to settle for a loan move for Zhao Cancelo instead. Now I'm not too sure why Manchester City aren't pushing and trying their hardest to try and get Cancelo to Saudi Arabia. He can earn even more money. I can imagine that appealing to his agent George Mendes as well. He gets a bigger agent fee. Uh, all parties are happy. There's several Portuguese players already out uh, in Saudi Arabia, so I don't think he'd have to worry about settling himself down. It seems to be a big appeal uh, amongst a lot of football players, especially football players who seem to be outcast or not too happy with European football. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. It may just be a case that Manchester City do need to be patient here in the transfer window when it comes to Xiao Cancelo, because if Man City look like they're going to block off, it means a game of chess. If Man City like they're going to block off all low moves serve because he wants to go to Barcelona if that isn't viable and Man City aren't getting a good enough amount then Man City just need to hold firm because I think eventually Cancelo will recognise that he's not going to be used around the first team squad he won't be registered as a Manchester City player next season uh, don't train him around the first team squad surely he'll then take the hint to say actually I need to vacate and I need to leave Manchester City uh, and I can earn even more money going to Saudi Arabia where I'll be playing football as well and be put on show and I'm not uh, ruining uh, my own credential, so to speak, for Jao Cancelo to go and play for Portugal's international team as well. It's all about uh, buckling under pressure and uh, a lot of the time it's Cancelo putting Man City under pressure to sell. Uh, Manchester City can do something about it but don't seem to be doing a lot about it and seem far too relaxed about the situation that eventually what will happen here is he'll get his loan move to Barcelona and Man City won't get a good loan fee. That's what's going to happen here. So... <laughs> You don't need to waste time if you're going to go and do that. Either try and push for Saudi Arabia or let him go right now so Man City can start to make plans for the summer transfer window instead of just dragging things on, wasting literally everybody's time. Anyway, moving on, the only other story I've got to speak about in the outs comes in the form of an update on two players who were looked set for a move to Saudi Arabia, that's Kevin De Bruyne and Edison, and interestingly the Athletic have said that despite reports coming in that personal terms have been agreed uh, for both Kevin De Bruyne and Edison to go and join clubs in Saudi Arabia, they say that Man City's expectation is that both players stay at the club this summer. Now I wonder if maybe word has come in from the club that uh, both Kevin De Bruyne and Edison have verbally communicated with Manchester City that their plan past this summer is for them to stay at Manchester City Football Club. Uh, we will have a clearer picture on this come the end of July once pre-season is rolling on and Manchester City uh, are getting in the swing of things. But to me, if that is true, that is not only big, but also brilliant news for Manchester City in keeping hold of both Kevin De Bruyne and Edison. A big battle there. Uh, only rumours as of right now and reports coming out. Uh, the rumours of personal terms being agreed and Saudi Arabian clubs speaking and getting things in place for these players to my belief are true. So there is a battle for Manchester City to keep these players at the club but the fact that reports are coming in suggesting that they want to stay at Manchester City is key so it means if Man City can get these players onto new contracts because that's what they want to do with Edison and with Kevin De Bruyne then we could well keep hold of both these players not only for this summer but perhaps even for the next couple of seasons as well and to me both high quality players both first team 11 players you want to keep hold of these kind of players you want your squad to remain strong you let these players go they're going to be difficult to replace and your squad may well become weaker so 
you always want to look to strengthen your team. If there isn't other options in the market, then you want to settle with what you've already got and just add that little bit of quality into the team as well, rather than signing players for the sake of signing players and bringing in players who aren't adequately replacing the players that you're letting go. So that would make sense, and I do hope that that is true. Now, moving on to the ins, Fabrizio Romano is given the latest on youngster Ryan McAdoo. He's completed his Manchester City Academy in Medical. He is going to be signing a long-term contract with Manchester City after leaving Chelsea's Academy last week. He does also add that Manchester City will be adding Harrison Miles, the youngster from Southampton, and also England under-16 captain soon as well. City also want him on a long-term deal also now moving on we've got a new name comes in the form of Manuel Ugarte over at Paris Saint-Germain now the 23 year old central midfielder has been linked with a move to Manchester City that's according to Le D Sport over in France they say that Man United are leading the way to sign the Uruguayan international however Manchester City are looking to hijack the move he did only sign for PSG last summer from Sporting Club de Portugal in a deal worth 60 million euros he made 33 appearances for Paris Saint-Germain last season. I don't know too much about him, truthfully, for me to be able to comment on whether he adds uh, more quality to Manchester City's squad or not. So has anyone seen him play? Do you rate him? How much do you, do you think City should be paying for him? If we are believed to be looking to try and hijack this Man United move uh, for Ugarte, let me know in the comments below. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on Joshua Kimmich. And HITC have said that Manchester City had scouts present at the Germany v Spain game in the European Championship quarter-final last week and Manchester City were believed to be keeping an eye on Joshua Kimmich the report says. Uh, Manchester City are still interested, PSG are leading the race and have opened up talks already with Joshua Kimmich's camp to try and sign him. Remember Bayern Munich are open to a sale he's only got 11 months left on his Bayern Munich contract. He wants to leave this summer, Bayern want to sell this summer. If Man City are struggling to make Bruno G happen to me Man City should be push it, uh, pushing to try and sign Joshua Kimmich instead and I do believe that if Man City do push with PSG to try and sign him I think City can win that race to sign him as well because I think he'd prefer a move to England and to be playing in the Premier League so one to keep an eye on anyway moving on to the final transfer Ebrecci Eze is back in the headlines been getting heavily linked with a move to Manchester City that's according to Matt Hughes who says that both Spurs and Manchester City are ready to trigger his release clause at Crystal Palace worth £60 million to be honest, I don't really see how Ebrecheze works at Manchester City unless an attacker is to be sold. He's a good player, but to me, it does smell of the kind of transfer that Tottenham will be looking at and to try and get done as well. And the Athletic are siding with me on this. They've confirmed that as of right now, Manchester City do not plan to make a move for Ebrecheze at Crystal Palace this summer so there we go that has been today's transfer update if you did enjoy the video please do leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos also don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below do subscribe it's the easiest way to stay up to date here on youtube every single day with all the latest manchester city transfer news so if you haven't already do subscribe to my channel also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. And I'll see you all again religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.